Hey everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about nasturtiums. This is not something that you probably really have ever heard of, or if you have, it's not really talked about very often. And this is a, a plant here that is really quite tasty. It's really interesting. This is a flower here, by the way, which are also beautiful, but you can take off these flowers off the nasturtium plants and then eat this. And I wanna taste this for you guys. I wanna show you guys, kinda of talk about what this tastes like. So it's actually quite sweet. Um, there's definitely some sting in there, some pepperiness. But in terms of flowers, I don't eat flowers, guys. I don't go around and make it my mission <laughs> to eat flowers. But when I found out that one was edible, and I started eating it, and I did more research, there's a lot of people using these these flowers in different um, you know, salad mixes. Um, a lot of top end chefs use this stuff. Those flowers are ex just super expensive, guys. Also, I wanna show you guys a couple more plants, some that are a bit more progressed, even though this one looks real sad. It's just been real windy here today. And this plant's been blown all over the place, but I've been eating the flowers off here any chance I get. This thing would probably be filled with flowers if I had let it but also you can eat the leaves. And this is the cool thing about nasturtiums here is that these leaves also have a crazy purpose and have many uses in the kitchen and uh, just the, you know, the top end chefs love this stuff. So if I take a bite out of this, you know, this is just like a type of lettuce that's similar to the flower, but really strong, really peppery, a little sweet, but it's, it's actually not bad at all. It's really good. And again, this is what people put in salad mixes. Just add a little bit of different something in there. And I think it really does make for an interesting plant ornamentally. When I was in Japan last year, actually this time last year I was in Japan, there's, those are everywhere. Um, so many Japanese gardens, so many Japanese homes, they are growing everywhere, and most people don't grow them to eat. They grow them um, for beauty. It's an ornamental plant. So for me, I think uh, there's a lot of value in a nasturtium. I think you guys should grow them. I have them just in various locations throughout the yard. Let me see if I guys, you know, I can show you a couple more if I remember where they're at. But I started a number of them. They really are beautiful. Ah, here's some over here. You can see these are a bit smaller. But again, they have these flowers on them. You know, even at small sizes, they're just very beautiful ornamental leaves. They almost look like lilies or, or um, some kind of like water petal. What are the name of those petals, guys? I don't know. But the point is, I think you guys should check them out. If you haven't considered growing nasturtiums, um, I think you should. Anyway, guys, that is this little short and sweet video on the nasturtium. I hope to catch you guys soon, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you in tomorrow's video. Take care, guys.